All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my very first car vlog, in this car anyway. Uh, it's been a while since I've done car vlogs in general, and it's the first time doing it in this one. I think it's my first like 4K video. Um, I've tried doing it before, but it just wasn't quite working out. But uh, I wanted to break out the old GoPro and uh, see how she fares in this car. And uh, before we took off, I went and uh, tested out the uh, the image and everything, make sure everything's all in frame. And it looks pretty good. I kind of like the sort of quasi 360 view you get with this thing. I'm really liking how it turns out. And hopefully, if, uh, if things work out, we're going to be doing some more car vlogs because. Uh, you know, gotta go to school, so that's that's where I'm going at right now. Um, go to school during the summer. I go twice a week on campus. It's uh, pretty hot out, so I'm hoping that the GoPro lasts. Um, because last time I tried recording a car vlog, the fucker died on me. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do a, a vlog on uh, the uh, nine-year anniversary of me going out to uh, Navy Basic, Navy Boot Camp. Uh, but thing died on me, so uh, kind of missed the deadline on that one. So, eh, it is what it is. Yeah, like I said, still going to school. Um, it's gonna be my first month back in about two days, technically. Um, but yeah, things are going really well with school. I just checked my grades. Everything's great. Like the lowest grade I have is a B plus. So. All things considered, I'm doing pretty damn good for myself. Looking to get that GPA up uh, so I can apply to schools out in Japan. But the main thing that I'm running up against, uh, as far as that goes, is getting the money to go back out to Japan. Because um, as you guys know, I'm on the GI Bill, so as far as paying for school goes, I'm good. But as far as paying for everything else, eh. <laughs> I owe the VA a little bit of money, so they're going to be taking it out of my VAH in order to pay for it. By the end of, not the end of this year, but in about a year's time, it'll be all paid for. So it's going to make saving up for Japan uh, a bit difficult, uh, but not impossible, you know. And I'm looking at different ways to, to make money to make that a reality. You know, one of them is doing some more freelance stuff. Uh, whether that's doing more work with my current clientele or finding some new clients to do some work for. Um, just uh, putting some feelers out there right now to kind of see what's going on as far as that goes. And uh, I'm also looking into getting some part-time work as well over the weekends. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's been pretty rough on the old Andy San Sam Modesta as of late as far as that goes. I haven't really been getting a whole lot of sleep as of late. Now last night I had a pretty good amount of sleep, but uh, before, not so much. Uh, and I think it's just, you know, a lot of the stress of worrying about, you know, what's going on with, um, you know, saving up for Japan and, you know, just like what the future holds. Cause, you know, what if it takes me a little bit longer to, to save up for Japan, you know, like I've, I've put it out there that I'm going to be coming back to Japan next year, 2020, woo, and uh, what if that doesn't happen? Or what if I have to wait until later in 2020 to make it happen? And I don't want to feel like I'm disappointing you guys and, you know, having to wait longer to, uh, to get out to Japan. So I've been dealing a lot with that of, you know, Am I considered a failure if it takes me a little bit longer to uh, to make things happen? And the reality is no. I'm only a failure if I, if I give up on it. And I don't want to give up on it. It's really hard to to deal with a lot of this, this adversity as far as uh, saving up for things and stuff like that goes. And, you know, dealing with your own personal issues. And just, you know, feeling like kind of a failure in some aspects because, you know, you end up comparing yourself to others. I've gotten a lot better at it. You know, I don't beat myself up as much over not being where I want to be or in comparison to my friends and family. I realize that my path is a lot different than theirs. 
and it's not to say that they're doing better than me or I'm doing worse than them or vice versa. You know, it's just we have different paths and that's really all there is to it. As long as I'm staying the course and doing my thing and chasing what makes me happy, then I'm doing good. And I have to keep reminding myself of that because, you know, it's very tempting to, uh, to be led astray by uh, what others are doing. You know, I see it all the time with like Instagram. Uh, Facebook was a big one for me. That's why I ended up having to pretty much <laughs> get off of Facebook almost entirely. I only check it for like uh, messages and stuff. Just gotta keep reminding yourself, man, that the path that you're on is the path that you're on. And you know, nobody else is gonna live your life. You know, you just gotta keep going, man. And you know, I've had some people message me about some things uh, most notably I've caught the uh, the ire of a certain subreddit on uh, reddit and uh, you know thankfully we've come to an understanding you know there's a lot of miscommunication involved with that so um, the parties involved have reached out to me about it and we're cool now so no worries um, but I think it's just uh, just a misunderstanding as far as uh, what my goals are and okay <laughs> sorry just looking at the light well as far as like what my goals are and uh, you know what is happening now like with my channel my channel is a big one right because a lot of people you know they, they, they hear me talk about you know you guys and you know it seems like I have a very big audience when I'm talking you know, like I was telling somebody who's asked me about it, um, I'm not talking all this stuff about the people who are watching me right now. Um, I'm talking about it for the people who are going to watch me. It doesn't matter that some of my videos only get maybe 10 or 20 views and I only have such and such subscribers. I think times recording I'm closing in on 1600 subscribers for my main channel. Those metrics don't really bother me anymore. They used to when I was younger, because I felt like my own worth and stuff was based on popular opinion. And you know, the more subscribers I got, and the more views, and the more likes, and all that kind of stuff, you know, that was my metric of success. But that's completely false. You know, once I started divesting myself from caring about vanity metrics, because that's basically what they are. I mean, let's. Let's be real here, you know, the the likes and the subscribers and all that kind of stuff, it's vanity metrics, you know. What really matters is the message that you're putting out there and what you intend on doing with your YouTube videos, YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff, man. You know, just the type of art audience that you're, uh, you're looking to, to target, you know, because I've seen some channels where they get, you know, hundreds of thousands of views and may only get couple hundred bucks and conversely I've seen channels where they only get like maybe tens of thousands of views but they're raking in thousands of dollars everything's relative man it just depends on what you're talking about how engaged your content is and how engaged your audience is so for me I've learned to divest myself from vanity metrics and instead focus on what really matters which is my message what I'm trying to put out there and basically what I'm doing is documenting right now I'm documenting my journey uh, right now literally it's my journey to college <laughs> but uh, in a broader sense it's my journey back to Japan every journey begins with one step after another and so with these videos I'm documenting that right so I'm documenting my journey to school getting through classes, saving up, then, you know, can be buying the plane ticket, getting, well, getting accepted into a college first, then buying the plane ticket, and all this other stuff that's involved with that. And I'll be able to look back on these videos and see, like, where I was way back in 2019, right? You know, just like I'm able to see where I was back in 2014 or 2015. You know, that's the beauty of YouTube, man. Like, I've been doing it for <clears throat> for over 13 years now. You know, I haven't seen the vanity success. You know, my vanity metrics aren't as high as 
as other YouTubers who've been around as long as me, who are still around. Um, but that being said, my goals are not their goals. Like my goal is to document my journey. And you know what? Even if I don't get lots of subscribers or lots of views, it doesn't really matter. So yeah guys, um, the camera actually overheated as I was finishing my thought there. Um, don't know exactly what I was talking about, so I uh, figured we'll just uh, end things here so that way keep things uh, nice and uh, prompt for y'all. So with that said guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys. Bye.